Hello ladies and welcome back to Ladidia's Creations. For this DIY, I'm going to be bringing you guys an upholster bench. And the measurements for my bench is going to be, the first thing I'm going to be doing is taking and placing these one by three boards on the ends like this, and this is 36 inches as well. But ladies, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and take this time and click on that subscribe button and the bell so that you can be notified of future uploads, okay? Okay, ladies, I'm going to be drilling about five pilot holes across the board here. Okay. Please use these. These are the deck mate screws from Home Depot. Ladies, I've got these pieces right here cut, and I'm going to be flipping this over and placing the two on each end. And piece, I'm going to be using these smaller screws right here, and it's just a regular drill bit, little pad. I'm getting ready to place the legs on. And I'm going to be using this one by two board and they're going to be sitting. I've cut four and they are 18 inches. Okay, so I'm just adding my screws into the leg. I've already added one down there. going to be doing that for the other three. Okay, lovies, I've gotten a bench assembled and now I'm getting ready to add this shelf right here. It's going to be for shoes or to store like pillows or blankets right in here. Okay, so what I'm getting ready to do is to drill a pilot hole right here. I'm going to be placing one screw in each leg. Okay, so I've gotten this screwed in right here. I'm going to go ahead and drill a pilot hole and add the screw on the other three sides of it. I am getting ready to build this back up. All I'm doing is adding three screws to each board. This is how it's going to be sitting on here. You can see these three, I'll call them legs, three legs that are going to be connected on the back. Gone ahead and I've created my tufting mark and they are about four inches apart. Another thing that I've gone ahead and done was created storage down here on the bottom and I used the heavy duty trifold board. The measurement for this storage area is 13 and 5 16 inches by 34 and 3 quarters of an inch. The trifold board, this is that back piece and this is the top piece and all I'm doing is just adding tape between the two pieces. So that it will be able to open and close with the tape there it will be able to open and close i'm also going to be adding foam board on the wood portion of the storage area okay lovey so now that i've gotten the storage area glued together i'm getting ready to place some foam board down in here And I'm not gluing that down because it's such a snug fit. So what I'm getting ready to do is to use my drill bit to drill the holes for my tufting. That is what I'm going to be doing for my tufts. I am getting ready to take the bottom portion of the bench outside to spray paint it and I'm going to be using this Rust-Oleum lacquer, black lacquer spray paint. And you can get this from Walmart. You can also get it from Home Depot and Lowe's. Okay, Levy, so this is the bottom having been spray painted. 
Now, besides, I'm getting ready to build up my side wings. I call them wings, but it's more so the arm. I'm actually going to be adding a piece to this right here. I'm going to be using my Ryobi nailer to connect the two pieces together. The wings are going to be looking on there. I'm going to be connecting it from the back side. Okay, so since I'm working by myself, I'm going to go ahead and add the pilot holes first. And go ahead and add the screws in the center so that I'll have a supporting piece on here. Okay, so this is the back of it having been added on. Now I'm getting ready to place the foam pad on the bench. Okay, let me. So what I'm showing you is that I've got my wings on here. And I also went ahead and cut a trifold board down the side. And you all can actually see how it is on top right there. And th I'm getting ready to actually take this off. And I'm going to be covering it with black fabric and then place it back on the back side of it. What to do is to use my long drips, D-R-I-T-Z needle. You can get this in the craft department at Walmart. And I'm just going to be sticking it through all the way to the front. I was just telling you, I have the needle on the back side back there and it's going to poke through right here. Then I'm going to take my pen, I'm going to mark right there, needle, I'm just marking, I'm just going to mark around it. This here, while I'm using Walmart's foam mattress topper, ordinarily for the topper, I would use the adhesive spray. But for this top piece, I'm going to be stapling this down. I have some temporary staples in here already that I'm going to be removing, like that one right there. the way the back is going to be without tearing up your foam pad all you got to do is just get your hair dryer turn it on low and let it low in that area and let it come, come. And let me see the black fabric that i'm going to be using i got from walmart i have the one that was two yards for four dollars i am using this lock tight spray adhesive to actually put this phone down on the seat. I didn't use it up there because I stapled it down all the way, except for the back and the bottom. So I'm just going to and then this down. But I'm just going to do that all the way across the front. Just showed you how I had stapled from the top side back. So it's going to be tucked, and I'm going to add staples along the edges here. Okay, so I am just tucking the fabric, and I'm going to add a staple in the corner. I am getting ready to tuck this down in here 
and then staple it on the back portion. I just took and tucked this up under here and staple it. And I'm just going to continue to staple it, tuck and staple. Then I'm going to tuck it. Then I'm going to take and cut all of the excess off. The wing of my chair, I am adding this foam on the inside and I'm going to be adding this fabric I'm going to be adding that fabric around it taking it all the way around to the side and closing this up and another thing that I'm going to be doing right here in the crease this is the back of the chair I'm going to be tucking that in and staple it down in the crease just like I did the seat. This wing portion of the seat, this is the actual seat right here and that is where I closed it off right there and I closed it off. So now this is the wing portion. I'm just going to tuck it all the way up under here and staple it from that side. I'm getting ready to start gluing the gemstones on and you can find these at Walmart in the craft section. I'm going to be gluing down the gems. So I'm getting ready to trim my edges out with this diamond wrap. This is the back of the upholstered tufted bench and I'm getting ready to use that trifold board right there. I'm going to take and cover it with black fabric and then place it on the back here. Loveys, this is the completed upholstered storage bench. And it turned out beautifully. I'm just going to try and give you guys an up close look at it. That is that beautiful diamond wrap right there on the wing of it. This is the side of it. Here is the storage down here. I have a blanket in there. I can actually put shoes right here. And, you know, up the store, maybe other blankets and pillows and whatnot right there. But I love that. I love my beautiful handle that I made. I can just take and sit on it. And relax. It is beautiful. But loveys, it's time to go. I love you guys, and you know that I'm always praying for you. And you know what my main prayer is, is that if you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior and your Lord, you will make him your personal Savior and your Lord and come on into the kingdom of God where there is love, joy, peace, and happiness in the Holy Ghost.